Pride for LGBT Saudis, protesting for LGBT prisoners. Well, for many people around the world, LGBT Pride Month is a time for fun parties and celebration. For the Saudi LGBT community, it's a time for protest. The Saudi Diaspora Association, a movement that advocates for freedom, justice, liberty, and equality in Saudi Arabia, is organizing an international um, is it's organizing an international event called the Suhail Pride 2022 at Saudi Arabian embassies. The event calls for the immediate release of Suhail uh, al al Yahya, imprisoned in Saudi for being gay in a Muslim majority country. In October 2019, Al-Yahya uh, al was arrested by the Saudi authorities and sentenced to three years in prison in Jeddah, Saudi Arabia, for simply tweeting a picture of himself wearing leopard print swim shorts. He received 800 lashes as punishment. In an interview with the Atheist Republic news team, Zach al Rice, one of the organizers of Suhail Pride 2022, said their goal this time is, quote, focused on a broader civil rights issue, not just one prisoner. On June 26th, 2021, the first Suhail Pride event included vigils in front of Saudi Arabia's embassy in different countries. This year, Suhail Pride will be held in Berlin on July 23rd. Oh, wow. That's really good. Good, good job. Oh, here's a picture of them. Yeah. Wow, so the if, you, if you scroll down, you will actually see the tweet that Suhail oh, wow, the was. Yeah. Oh. Wait, oh, if this you is click on he, it. This is, this, uh, this is what he got in trouble for? Yes. So because of this yeah. photo, if you click on it, you actually like see more of it. He's just like posing in shorts, like looking cute. Look at him. He's just like, oh, I missed the caption is miss the sun. I'm just like looking cute with my curly hair, my little swim shorts. Hey. And because Where of this, he he's been imprisoned for three years and tortured with 800 lashes because of this. Because of this? How is this on Islamic? He, had to, he he has been imprisoned for three years and been tortured for this picture. Yes. Hmm. Miss the sun. Okay, I'm trying to figure out how this is un Islamic. I mean, you are allowed to miss the sun in Islam. Technically, I, I think men are supposed to cover. I think Everything if you can to their knees. Yeah, but that's not like a major crime if you don't. Yeah. You know what I mean? I mean, I think they they were like, this is just like they read into it everything that, I mean, doesn't this, I don't know. So if you go to the show notes, um, there's something I want to share. So if you could share the petition that I posted. No, but seriously, like even by Islamic standards, even if, okay, here's, here's what I'm saying. Okay. Here's my point. Okay. Even if you, you are right that this is suggestive. Okay. Okay. But technically by Islamic standards, you need to be able to prove something. Okay. Even like, I know Islam is horrible and all, but there it's not chaotic evil. Okay. It's organized evil. Okay. Given that Islam is organized evil, they have some standards for how you could, the barriers that you have to meet for, before you could punish somebody, okay? So even if you agree that this is, I don't know, sexually suggestive, it, sh it shouldn't be able, you shouldn't, in an Islamic court, you shouldn't be able to pass any punishments upon this person because there's, because there's a chance that it's not. Like there's, there's no way for you to verify that it is. There's no proof. There's no evidence for it that it is. It's like there's plausible deniability for you to be able to get away with not getting punished. So whatever court punished them is like doing something that doesn't pass the Islamic sniff test. Oh, so you are. Yeah, this is the petition. Yeah. So if you wait in the show notes, can you go to the petition? Because I want to show it. Um, yeah, okay. So in live chat, I also posted a link to the Facebook event so you guys can participate in Suhail Pride. Um, 
I wanted to cover this story because Zach is someone who's a great member of Atheist Republic community. Um, he's been interviewed by secular jihadists before and does so much work for LGBT Saudis. And he reached out to me and he said, Susanna, like, can you guys talk about this event that we're putting on? So please go join Suhail Pride. Check it out. Link that I just put in. And um, when this clip gets cut, I'll put it in the description as well. Um, and then also I put a link to this petition to free Suhail in the live chat. It's very quick. It explains more about his case. It explains more about what happened to him. And it takes you 30 seconds to sign the petition. And I know it means a lot to the people campaigning for his release. Um, I was reading Wait. a lot of articles written by LGBT Saudis today and like how hard they fight for each other and what it means. And um, honestly, like I started, I like started crying today, like reading these articles about LGBT Saudi community and just what they have to go through. Like Suhail, before he, he got imprisoned this way, he faced all these troubles and arrests for basically parental disobedience. In Saudi Arabia, the police can arrest you and like hold you in contempt for disobeying your parents. Um, and he's had to face a lot. He was even actually managed to flee to America. And then the Saudi government basically entrapped him tricked him to coming back by saying that his mom was sick and then threw him in jail and tortured him only 109 people have signed the petition so far that's crazy that's very low mm -hmm. yeah that's why i, I wanted to promote it like so. with all the attention that this is getting only 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 one only really 100 people like that's insane Okay, I'm signing it right now. Oh, thank you. Fantastic. Yeah, and so I just posted that link. Please go sign it. And um, I will also post the link when we... Um, ah, Misha is saying that she just signed it as well. Thank you. Um, yeah, thank you guys. I think it's important to show support, especially during Pride Month. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, how you can be like say people keep claim to support pride and everything, but if you can't even do a signature, then, then what the hell? Um, all right, okay. Thank you, Susanna, for bringing these things to our attention. A lot of us would have missed all of this if you didn't bring us this to our attention. So we we really appreciate the work that you're doing. Thank you so much. Oh, well, thank you. Hey guys, if you're a fan of blasphemy and sexy Cali, you know like me, then you need to be sure to subscribe to our newsletter, link in the description below. Because if you subscribe, we will send you a free copy of our Blasphemous Art ebook. And let me tell you, it is the tastiest blasphemy that you can find anywhere available today. And we are so generous with our blasphemy that we continue to send you more blasphemy every week. So make sure to subscribe, link in the description below.